Let's see what it looks like without the lights on. The whole object of the game is to anytime these here lights come on down here, the opponent scores, and every time a light comes on up here, that's a player's score, that'd be my score. And I have to uh get one of my green lights to get up there and uh, the red lights cancel out my green lights that are coming down and all these lights will cancel each other out and so I can get one up there to score if I don't cancel any of these red lights coming down then it scores down here here we go I can only hit one button at a time for each column I can't hit both columns at the same time so you can see how I gotta keep on going one column at a time worked. You can see how it's working here. Now let's turn the light off here and see what it looks like. I'll give you a close up shot here later on whenever I get done playing here. Now here's fast speed. There's the fastest. <laughs> I can't even get past the second light, the third. Oh, I got one up there. I got that is, if we count how many times this comes on and that one, you can see huh, it's a big challenge. I could slow it down about halfway here. Okay, I'm gonna get you a close up here on the other side here. Where you can actually see the display now. Down here as you guys work with the buttons. Now I'll bring the camera over here and you can actually watch the display itself. So you gotta work one column at a time. And you start watching which light is coming down. Right side, left side, right, left, right, left, right, left again. Just gotta keep now I'll speed it up. This is about half the speed. Whoo, it's fast. Wow. You can hear me hitting the buttons. <laughs> Now here's the fastest right here. See if I can get one. See if I can get at least get one score up here. Can't get it fast enough. I keep on canceling out. I can, I can only get to about here. That's fast. That's too fast. I got to put about half about this way here, maybe. Try here. There we go. Now I can score now. But look at how many times it's scoring down here. The opponent's scoring. Let's see what it looks like without the lights on. And I'm winning now. See, I got more green up there than the red. I know what I go back and forth with the columns. There, I'm scoring up on top there now, real good. Now that's that's uh, slow speed now. I'm even faster speed yet, huh? Wow, I can't get past the middle. There I got a score. That's just too fast. I can't get one up. Wow, it's too fast. I'll slow it down just a little bit here. See, the idea is to, get, is to wipe out as many red lights. There you go, like that. And then you score more. There you go. Whoop, there we go. There's a score, there's another score, there's a score. There we go. Okay. Okay, so you see how that works. And that's uh, just a fun game to build just to uh, demonstrate uh, some transistor circuitry. And to look at the, all the circuitry that's involved here. Let me start out with the display. And then this is what runs the display right here. All of these here, circuitry here. These would be the ring counters. That's all the ring counters. And then we come down here, and this was the uh, all the uh, manual inputs here and the circuitry involved for that. That was the uh, AND gates and the exclusive OR gates and things that uh, allowed the buttons to be hit only one column at a time and uh, digital logic involved in that. This is the square wave multivibrator that actually runs 
the opponent's lights coming down. That's this right here. This is the uh, adjustment here for the speed. And then these are the AND gates here that make the incidents happen. Every time a light comes on, and two lights go on at the same time, the AND gates come on and they put an output to the score up here and down here as well as cancel the lights. And that would be the four, uh, four per uh, ring counter, four AND gates here and four AND gates there. And so that's pretty much the whole circuitry right there. That's the whole, uh, the whole board built, all the circuits, and the whole game is completed now. Everything works properly, and it's just a demonstration of how uh, to build out a transistor uh, project here uh, in a whole game and uh, see how that works. The getting uh, things working properly and canceling lights and making scores and things, and it worked out pretty nice. I'm pretty pleased with this here project, and I think this is probably the last video in this series now, and I just want to say thank you for watching, and bye for now.